Hey guys, Bryson with Trick Tools here, and today we're going to give you guys a look at the Fine Slugger TCT Circular Chop Saw. So, uh, to point out the obvious, this is a chop saw that um, is different than what you would normally think of as a chop saw because it uses a tungsten carbide tipped blade uh, as opposed to an abrasive uh, style blade for this chop saw. So, with that, uh, this saw turns at a different RPM than what a abrasive uh, saw usually uh, turns at. So uh, this is uh, turning about 1300 RPM uh, and that's going to give you the proper blade life that you need and speed to be able to cut through the material that you're trying to cut. So um, this saw here uh, is a nice compact small package. It can easily be moved around uh, job sites inside your shop that sort of thing. Um, so when you get it down in the position like this there's a little chain right here that you can just unhook to open the saw up. It's got these nice guards here that automatically uh, open and close, obviously, as you're doing the cutting. And uh, it's got a real nice vise here that uh, has a quick adjustment feature. So you flip that back, you can slide the vise in or out, and then flip that back in there and tighten up your your material there. So uh, the back plate of the vise can be adjusted up to 45 degrees. So you can loosen your handle here. And for a little more rigidity, there's the center pivot bolt. You can just crack that loose and be able to pivot the back wherever you need it. There is a uh, angle indicator here with a line marked that you can get your adjustment, uh, your angle set up where you need it, and then get it locked down in place and get to cutting. So. Uh, that makes it super easy. So we'll get that set back at zero mark for right now. We're gonna go ahead and snug up that handle and just tighten on that pivot bolt. And that really locks that back plate uh, in place to give you a nice solid uh, clamping surface against there. So uh, there's spots here in the base that hold the uh, Allen wrenches necessary to be able to uh, do any adjustments on the saw and you can just put them right back in the holders there so they're always in place so um, the handle on the vise here is adjustable which is pretty nice because uh, you can have you can have it out for your long leverage to be able to you know tighten up uh, you know with a little extra force there but if you're working on a surface let's say let's say you're working on a surface where the saw is positioned uh, over the top of a table, the handle won't get in the way, you can loosen that little knob there, slide the handle up to be able to clear a tabletop surface or that sort of thing. So uh, adjustable handle. Uh, so the uh, chip collection on this is, uh, there's a tray that runs the whole length of the base, uh, it runs back in here underneath to collect most of the chips. Uh, as you're cutting, it's real easy to take out. There is a wing nut here on the back side that you can take out of the base. Once you get that out, then you slide that tray out. You can take this over, dump it in the trash, uh, and then slide it right back in. And then put your wing nut back in to be able to hold it in place securely. Uh, blade changes are real easy. Uh, you take the outside part of the guard here off and uh, take the bolt out of the center here and then pop your blade off, put the new one on, tighten it back up, put the guard back together from there. So uh, as far as blade options, so for this saw, we have some different blade options. It comes with a regular mild steel blade so that's going to do all your general uh, steel cutting applications. And then we have a thin steel blade. So if you're doing uh, thin tubing, uh, thin wall tubing, that sort of thing, uh, even if you want to cut some you know, thin plate uh, in here, we have the thin steel blade that's going to, uh, the teeth are a little more fine uh, on this to be able to uh, accommodate for the thinner material. We have the aluminum 
blade. Uh, so if you're doing a lot of aluminum cutting, uh, you definitely want to get with that aluminum blade. Uh, it's going to uh, hold up better with the aluminum uh, to be able to cut through that material. And then we do have the stainless steel cutting blade as well. So uh, make sure you're getting the right blade for the material that you're cutting. Um, you know, if you're 99% of the time cutting mild steel and you need to throw a piece of stainless in here uh, to cut that, you can probably achieve that, but just be careful uh, with, you know, what type of stainless you're cutting and that sort of thing, because you'll definitely wear out the teeth, uh, you know, if you're um, cutting with the different materials without the right blade. So, um, yeah, at this point, um, we're going to go ahead and do some cutting demos. Uh, the operation of this saw is real easy. Um, you know, obviously you got your handle here. There is a red kind of lock on the trigger, and then you have the trigger here. <laughs> got plenty of power there is a slight delay in the trigger when you do pull it and that's a safety feature that way in case you bump the trigger when you don't mean to have started it up yet uh, it's not going to just fire off right away so um, yeah so we'll go ahead and uh, do some cutting here I've got some demo material uh, I've got some inch and a half uh, pipe here and then I've also got a piece of two inch quarter wall tubing that we're going to cut through so um, we'll get this set up and we'll do some cuts So you can see even on this two inch quarter wall tubing does a nice job getting the cut right through there uh, and leaves a nice clean cut and uh, you can get right to work on your project. So um, yeah, this saw has a maximum capacity on round material uh, at a 90 degree cut of uh, it's five and an eighth of an inch. And then uh, at a 45, I believe it's four and a half on a piece of round, whether it's solid or tubing. Uh, and then uh, it goes down from there on square and rectangle, that sort of thing. So we'll have those capacities listed so you guys can see uh, if this saw will fit for the material you're trying to cut. So for more information on the Fine Slugger TCT Circular Saw, give us a call. Visit our website at tricktools.com and we'll get the information that you need to you so you can make a choice on whether you want this saw in your shop. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one.